Hello there and welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at the final question, question 9. A mathematical student is modelling the profile of a glass bottle of wine. Figure 1 shows a sketch of a central vertical cross section A, B, C, D, E, G, H, A. Is there an F in there? Oh, it's supposed to be an F in there, but hey-ho. Of a bottle of measurements taken with the student, taken by the student. Uh, the horizontal cross section between C, F and D, E is a circle of diameter 8 centimetres and a horizontal cross section between B, G and A, H is a circle of diameter 2 centimetres. The student thinks that the curve G, F can be modelled as the curve with the equation Y equals AX squared plus B, where X is in between 1 and 4, where A and B are constants and O is a fixed origin uh, as shown in figure 2. Find the values of A and B corresponding to the model. Okay, so what we need to work out then is for when x equals 4 and when x equals 1, what are the values for y? So it looks like on this scale diagram here that f is going to be at the coordinate 14, so this coordinate here is going to be 4, 14, and on this part here it's 14 plus an extra 4 to get up to g, so it's going to be 1, 18. So let's substitute those coordinates in. We have x equals 1, y equals 18 that needs substituting in, and then in a bit we're going to do x equals 4, y equals 14. So let's substitute these in then, so it's going to be 18 equals um, 1x squared, so that's going to be a plus b, and then the next bit here is going to be 14 equals 4 squared is 16, 16 times a plus b. B. Let's treat these as equations 1 and equations 2. So it's going to be equation 2, take away equation 1. So it's going to be um, minus 4 equals 15a. So a is equal to minus 4 over 15. Nothing like an easy set of values for a question. Uh, so now that a is minus 4 over 15, b is going to be equal 18 plus 4 over 15. 18 plus 4 over 15 equals 274 over 15. Lovely, some nice easy values for A and B there. Okay, so let's move on to part B. The equation for the quadratic bit was uh, minus 4 over 15 x squared plus 274 over 15. Okay, so use the model to find the volume of water that the bottle can contain. So, uh, let's divide it into three sections. Then we've got this section here, this section here, this section here. We'll call it A on the neck, B on this quadratic bit, and C on the main bottle on the water there. So, uh, it looks like B will be the more difficult one to work out. So let's do section B first. Section B is going to be a revolution around the y-axis. So the revolution around the y-axis is going to be pi times the integral from the top boundary to the lower boundary of x squared dy. We're integrating with respect to y in this question. Now, first thing we probably want to do is work out what x squared is equal to. So let's rearrange what we've got up here. Let's times by 15 first. So it's going to be 15y minus 4x squared uh, plus 274. Let's rearrange it to put the 4x squared on the left hand side. So 4x squared equals 274 minus 15y. And they will then divide by 4, so it's going to be 274 minus 15y divided by 4. And also remember that the boundaries on the alpha and the beta are going to be y boundaries. We're substituting uh, a y value into a y variable, so it has to be a y on um, the boundaries there. So 14 and 18 we've worked out there. So it's going to be pi times the integral from 18 to 14 of, in fact, if we divide by the 4 at the front, and then it's just going to be 274 minus 15y dy. So there we are, we've substituted x squared in, we've uh, factorised the 4 to the front, and then it's 274 minus 15y. Let's now go ahead and do the integral on all of this. So it's now going to be 274y minus 15y over 2. 
and then we're substituting the boundaries of 18 and 14. And then when you substitute in all those boundaries and then divide through by 4, you're going to get an answer of 34 pi. So 34 pi is the answer to that integral there. Let's now move on to sections A and B now. For section A, it's going to be a small little cylinder. So it's going to be just a small neck on the bottle of wine there. Its diameter is 2, so its radius is 1. So therefore, the formula for the volume of this is going to be pi r squared times h. That's the area of the circle times the height. The height on this neck says it's 10. So the volume of a is going to be um, 1 squared, that's 1, times pi is pi, times by 10, that's 10 pi. And the main bit uh, c is also going to be a big cylinder. And um, the radius on that, well if the diameter is 8, then the radius is 4, so therefore um, it's going to be 16 pi times the height, which is 14. And that's going to equal 16 times 14. Let's just grab a calculator. 16 times 14 is 224. So the volume of C is 224 pi. So therefore the total volume total volume is going to be 34 plus 10, that's 44, plus 244, so plus 44 onto that, and we get 268 pi, which is going to be, and then times that by pi, so the, um, it's going to be 842 centimetres cubed, because it is a volume and all of these measurements are in centimetres. So there we are, that's the answer for question B. And let's move on to answering these little one markers for questions C and D. State a limitation of the model. Well, the limitation of the model might be that there might be some thickness on the glass, or there might be uh, this quadratic here, might not necessarily be a quadratic for the whole um, part of the curve, or there might be some dimple inside a bottle of wine, there's usually a dimple on the bottom. I know that by experience, there is a dimple on in the inside of a bottle of wine, um, but it's just find something that might be wrong with this, this uh, modelling the whole of this question as if it were perfect like this. So uh, the I would say that the uh, curve on the bottle of wine there might not be a perfect quadratic. And then let's move on to part D. The label on the bottle states that the bottle holds approximately 750 centimetres cubed of water. Use this information and your answer to part B to evaluate the model explaining your reasoning. Well, if we go back, the actual volume is 842, which is quite some way off. Um, 750, 92 centimetres off in fact, and if we look at how much the neck contains, that's just going to be 30 centimetres cubed, um, approximately 31 centimetres cubed, which is going to be meaning that the bottle of water will start on the quadratic bit, which is unreasonable. So just write a sentence to that effect there. So um, I would say that the uh, model, the evaluate the model, I would say that model is inaccurate um, because it is evidently too high. 842 is obviously too high if the bottle contains 750 centimetres cubed of water. So there we are, that's the answer to question 9, that's 11 marks for the June 2018 question 9 there. So there we are, that's the answer for all of these questions from June 2018 and hopefully you found these videos helpful and uh, maybe move on to the mechanics paper or to the uh, June 2019 paper. Thanks very much.